Well, the original is ground zero. From that glove, we've built another glove, and another glove from that, and another glove from that. So I think that's why we always go back to the original, because it's the foundation. The original mechanics glove really didn't exist, or nothing existed like that before mechanics were. Considering the fact that mechanics were using bare hands, uh, and then they started wearing our gloves to protect themselves, we really, really created the category. There just wasn't anything else similar available. If you needed to protect your hands, there was a, a leather glove, or a lineman glove, or a cowboy type of glove. And, and if you were bailing hay, or grabbing barbed wire, or doing something like that, that's really all the only options that you had. The beginning of the idea was there was motocross gloves out there, and being I was working with an Axo rider at the time, Damon Bradshaw, uh, I went to my friends at Axo and said, you know, I got this idea about a work glove. The, the company that we worked for, Axo America, had a glove that was made for trials riders. It, had the, it was really lightweight. Um, you could use it, had a lot of dexterity. We gave that glove to Brian. He used it for a little while and found out that it was good, but it was a little too lightweight. So we moved to kind of the, the next step in our, our glove arsenal, which was uh, the Series 91 glove. It was a little bit more beefy. Um, the glove construction was a little bit more kind of involved, so we took that glove and modified it so that it would, uh, it would suit his needs. The initial testing phase for the glove was, was conducted almost primarily through Brian. He was the guy who needed it, and he was 100% of the input that we were receiving based on, on the needs of mechanics. Uh, once the ball kind of got it rolling, and he decided, and we all decided that it was something that well, maybe we should pursue, we made uh, probably a dozen pair of gloves. He gave them to his buddies, and you know, then it kind of went from there. He, being in the area that he was in, in the, the southeast, you know, he was. He had other mechanics in the area that were in different industries, uh, uh, primarily NASCAR, so he introduced that product into that world, and you know, the rest is kind of history. We went to the track with a whole different purpose. We were there to help mechanics. Most of the sponsors, most of the companies that are at a racetrack clamor over the rider or the driver. They spend all their time trying to get product placement. Uh, we were never there for that purpose. We saw, we saw all these guys behind the scenes working working on the cars, working on the motorcycles. And those are the guys we were there to help out. So for us, we were really working behind the scenes, helping the hardest working guys at the track. And because of that, we developed a real loyalty in the relationship with these crew members and with these mechanics. Since the original was first introduced, there's been numerous, numerous changes um, that we've done over the years. Different spandexes on the back of the hand. First, the first original had a mesh material on the back of the hand. We've evolved the spandexes and other materials that, that uh, are lower profile, better flexibility, uh, more durability. There's virtually nothing the same on the original that we have today as opposed to the original that we did back then. We do real world testing and we do laboratory testing. Uh, the laboratory testing, we get a quick read on new materials and new designs uh, that give us a solid database that we've been using for pretty close to seven to eight years now. But we back that up with field testing because we have been, we've seen both ways. We've seen where a field test shows really well, but the laboratory machinery shows us it's not so good. The original glove that mechanics were designed, the shell has proved to be very versatile. We're able to take that shell and branch off into military, tactical, hardware, construction. It's basically the gold standard for the shell we, we use to design other gloves. When we do take it into that arena, say military or tactical, we might learn of a material or a, a wear point that will go back to the original. So it, as a, well as it's a starting off point, it's also a finishing point. We're amazed sometimes at who wears it. You know, we find all these different people wear it. We see on TV, wow, are you wearing the original glove doing that? You know, so it's always a lot of people like to wear it. Although it started from the automotive, you know, racing, we're all over the board. Through all the exposure at the racetrack, through all the input from the mechanics, we found that the audience at the track was taking our gloves home and using them for other things. 
really the growth of mechanics wear has a lot to do with those people sitting in the stands that saw how the glove was being used at the track and realized, man, this, this, this work glove can work for me at home. Basically, it, it created an industry. So the mechanics glove, the original glove, which was, you know, its, its sole intent was, which was to take care of a single mechanic, has now taken care of, oh, hundreds and millions of mechanics of a little 